out here. Look! Must be treasure! Help me out here! over here. Guide me. Going to you. 
Do this alone.
blocked from the other side. on the other side. <laughs> Smells like a trap.
did something. I said the damn fish took it from me. You were wrong. By a fish. Come on, get serious. I am. You there. What's this of a fish based robbery? According to my brother here, the damned fish that guards these waters is now taken to petty theft. Guards these waters? Surely a terrifying creature of the deep. All teeth and tentacles and eyes all over its monstrous head, yes? Challenge fit for the Lord of Asgard. No, no. Just a normal, you know, fish. But huge, at least, yes? No, not especially. But it is cunning. 
that no dwarf has caught a fish here in months, and all because of that one fish. Indeed. And what of the theft? It managed to charm our hard-fought key right out of my stupid brother's pocket, he reckons. It was most persuasive. Listen, stranger. Catch this fish, you can keep our key and the treasure it unlocks. We just want that one fish gone. What do you say? Perhaps. Let us see what this beast is capable of. Us? Oh, no. I'm staying well away. You want it, you get it. I'm off. Yeah, there must be somewhere decidedly less dangerous to go fishing. Come, fearsome creature of the depths! No more shall you torment those who visit these waters. Face your end at the hands of the High One! <clears throat> Have at you! Mouth, what are you playing at? You don't see me barging into Asgard and dragging you out of your house. So, not a fish at all. No, and not an enemy. I was there when you came to Jotunheim and drank enough mead to kill a man. I saw what you did to Sutunger that day. Damn near beating him to a pulp single-handedly. Only a fool would challenge you. But you have bested me fairly when no other could. And believe me, many have tried. You want this key, I assume? That, and for you to leave these waters. That I will not do. I have made a home here. Dwarves repeatedly intrude, make attempts on my life, and those of my aquatic neighbors. I won't stand for it. So I impede them, harming nothing but their pride. I dare say you would defend your lands from invaders more vigorously. I, I would. I see your point. As strange as this all may seem. Then have your prize, and I shall have mine. Life as a fish is full of wonder. You'd never imagine. So I shall protect these waters for as long as I live. <laughs> Very well. After all that, let's hope this chest was worth the bother. I shall guard this lake and all who dwell within it. It is an honor and a privilege. Stupid bird! What ails you? Have you lost someone out here? In a manner of speaking. I'm waiting for someone to return from an errand. You probably wouldn't believe me if I told you. There's little I wouldn't believe. Speak while you have my ear. I have a crow, Kraka, found him injured back when the invasion started. I nursed him to health and he chose to stay with me. We share a bond. I swear it's like he scouts the land, and I can understand what he sees. Have you ever known such a thing? It sounds most familiar. So your crow is lost. Out here? Not out here, up there! On that damn lump of rock in the sky! Reckon there's something good, something really valuable up there. So I sent Cracker to see what he could find. He's got a talent for finding treasure, you see. So up he went. And that was the last I saw of him. Then I shall keep an eye out for your cracker. Unless you can sprout wings of your own, I don't see how. I'm full of surprises, dwarf.
naval attack on site here. Be kind. Enjoying Muspel hospitality, I see. They caught me before I could steal what I came for. For my master, the dwarf below. Kraka, he calls me. Long ago, I invaded this land. The dwarves fought back. Wounded, I changed form, hid as a crow before the dwarves could finish me. Believing me to be a mere bird, Scarby found me, took me in, saw that I was healed to full strength. Never knowing your true nature. I doubt he'd welcome the news. No matter. The treasure on this rock, I must retrieve it for my master. I owe him my life. Would you aid me? I cannot offer anything in return. But Scarvin, I'm sure he could. I promise nothing. Understood. But if you find it, all I ask is you give it to Scarvin. Please. You'll not give it to him yourself? I have burdened him enough. I'll not burden him with the knowledge that he helped his enemy. He deserves better than that. Very well. Good luck to you, Kraka. And to you. Don't keep me in suspense, Esir. Here. Yeah, I have something for you. You do? What is... It cannot be. How did you... As I said, I'm full of surprises. Indeed. And Cracker, my crow, did you see him? I found Cracker. He... he helped me find the treasure, but he has chosen his own path. Flew south, unharmed. I see. Well, safe travels, friend. <sighs> that bracer of yours, that's how you got up there. What of it? I can enhance it, should you wish, as thanks. Enhance it how? Meet me at my forge, and I'll show you how. Of course, same could be said for any smith worth his or her salt. 
And these rocks in the sky, if you find any more treasures on them, bring them to me and I'll see what I can do. Very well. I'll meet you at the shelter. Defeat us both. You stand no chance against my mighty war. There, there, Golden Busty. You're all right. You're all right. I'm here now. And. I'm in need of your aid. Come, oh, my friend. I am your master now. Is everything all right? I wish I knew, High One. You recognize me? Of course, but I have no quarrel with you. Even if I did, I have more pressing matters. I... I must get into the dwarf shelter. You have a death wish? No, but if that's what it takes to be reunited with my love, it is a risk I must bear. They hold a Jotun captive? No. The one I love is... a dwarf. Svas. And as strange as it might sound, I think he loves me. With everything happening in this crazed world, I know how important it is to hold on to things that are precious. Do you think you could help me? All I want is to speak to him, to know I'm not alone in feeling what I feel. Very well. But I cannot take you inside looking like this. Can you shapeshift? How's this? Had to be a wolf, didn't it? Come again? Just... Stay by my side and don't eat anybody. I'm not an animal, you know. So, what's your plan? I don't know. And stop talking or you'll give us both away. Do you know the way to the dwarf you seek? I have a scent. Then lead the way, but stay by my side. Ah, there's a good girl. <sighs> Bobby, hold it there. You cannot bring that... that thing in here. And lead us whole. Be calm, friend. This is my pet. She won't harm a soul. Your pet? We have heard tens of you hunting every last wolf out of Asgard. Well, don't believe everything you hear. Now, let us pass. Where's your pet going now? I'll go see. <gasps> Asker, have you lost your mind? You know what they'll do if they see you in here. I couldn't wait another moment, and I had some help. I can see. Thank you, High One. It was no bother. And I have done far more for love, believe me. So, am I mad? Or are you feeling this too? You're not mad. You're... amazing. I can't believe you'd risk your life for me. In a heartbeat. Wolves! Help! We must help them. Come, high one. A Jotun! A Jotun from this side! Kill it! No! She fights the wolves. She is your ally. Find a happy place. 
place. Find a happy place. Find Get a happy back! Place. Get back! <laughs> You could have hidden, kept your identity secret. Twice you have now risked your life for love. The Jotun! She led the wolves to our door! The Jotun are our enemy! Silence! Are you simpletons with minds locked by what you believe and blind to what you see? You all saw. Vasker didn't hesitate to help. She was there, in a heartbeat. Accept her, or she and I both leave. You mean it? Yes, I do. I would be a fool to let you slip through my fingers. Then my work here is done. Good luck, the pair of you. And to all of you. They were terrible archers. Aye, and I'm lucky you're a far better fighter than these pieces of shit, High One. A fine display of your prowess. If you'll permit me, I'd repay your kindness. But these bastards burnt my pack to ashes. Stop by the Yorvegger shelter, and I'll find you something. Should I find myself there, then why not? If you seek a more formidable foe, this lot was saying their leader's not far. Reckon you could do us all some good and get rid of them. They kept saying something about two golden peaks in the east. Must be somewhere between them, I guess. Between two golden peaks in the east. Most curious. Aye. Well, you find them, you send my regards, yes? And by regards, I mean you lop off their head, yes? <laughs> in any case, find me at the Ordegger shelter. Can't promise I'll be sober, but it'd be good to see you again. harm anyone else. Oh, thank goodness you came, High One. They... they killed my friends! The bastards! I would give you something in thanks, but they already had everything of worth that was in my pack. Really, it's fine. Get to safety, and we shall call it even. Stop by my shelter. I'll give you something there. Nothing fancy. Just something to say thanks. Your Dagger Shelter, it's called. These giants here, they said there's more of them. Might be their leader. Up in the hills, northeast of Stormilna, they said. If my path should take me that way, then perhaps I will pay them a visit. Can you get to your shelter from here? I think so. Then I may find you there someday. Good luck. Another clue. Anything it let me go. Don't let me die like this. Please. Thank you. Your pain. 
You're strong to endure that. Thank you. I, I don't know what I would have done if... if... Save your strength. You're safe now. Just need to warm up. What I need is to get get back to my, my shelter. The, the Jorthager shelter. Find me there so I may thank you properly. You know that the, the, there's, the, there's more of them out there. L -l Lanky preying on other dwarves. They have a, a hideout. I, I heard them speak of it. They d d didn't think I could hear them. It sounded like they were plotting something. That part I, I couldn't hear. S -s south of Mjolnir Smither, near a twist in the road. Go there and put a stop to them. Please. Do not presume to tell me what I should do. Though, I may seek them out. Will you be all right from here? F forgive me. Yes. Yes, I think so. P perhaps I will see you at the shelter. Steady now. You're all right. Oh, thank the gods! I couldn't last much longer. Bless you, High One. Bless you and all your kin. I wasn't the only High One today, huh? Too... too soon for jokes. But I thank you. Find me in the Jörðeikur shelter if you can get past the hedonists, and I'd like to give you a gift. These giants. There's more of them, you know? They spoke of a leader, a hideout, maybe. East of Skidblan is Smitha, sounded like. Ring any bells? I will think on it. Perhaps I will seek out this leader and see to it they bother no one else. Do feel free to boot them off a very tall height, High One, should you wish. At any rate, I seek the solid ground of the Jördegur shelter. Farewell. The dwarf. I know the place they spoke of. The clamor of hammers echoes out of the past. Gungnir. A gift from Loki for the Lord of Asgard, forged of sunlight and strong Asgardian metal. The tip of the spear was carved with runes to guide its path. Gungnir never missed its mark. Now Loki had the three gifts he needed to win his redemption in Asgard. Sif's hair, Gunknir, and Skithbladnir. But already in his mind a plan was hatching. Three gifts was not enough. Impressed with the craft of the Dwarven Smiths, 
Loki set them to fashioning great gifts he could bring to Asgard and win back the favor he had lost. Skidbladnir, best of all ships, beloved by the wind, big enough to carry all of Asgard's finest into battle. Small enough to fit into a pocket. This would be Freya's gift, and it pleased him well. With such gifts, would Loki find forgiveness? My brother always knew how to win hearts. To him, it was almost as easy as breaking them. Desperate to make Broker fail, he bit the dwarf's eye harder than any fly had ever bitten before. This time he did not fail. The hammer was flawed, the handle a fraction too short. Yet even so, we judged the work of Sindri and Broker superior. Loki lost his bet, and his head was forfeit. Few would have mourned the death of Loki. But of course, the trickster found a way to go back on his word. A tale for another time, perhaps. I should not be seen in this area.
should not be seen in this area. Spirits torment this land. <laughs> Something is wrong. Foul. Let's go. 